Hello everybody, my name is John and welcome to Gods Will Be Watching. Now, before this there's a little bit of a story cutscene and uh, I don't really want to get into that, mostly because I want you to experience a story for yourself, it's pretty good. And also because it takes quite a long time to get through the story. So this is kind of an unusual game, it's point and click, maybe half point and click, but it's also kind of like a time management strategy game. You have to manage a lot of different factors and just keep your whole crew and your spaceship running smoothly here. This is not our spaceship, we hijack somebody else's, we have hostages here. It's uh, kind of complicated, the story, and again I'm not going to get into it, but basically we are freedom fighters who are working for the emancipation of aliens. So we have a lot of different things we can do here, and I'm going to go ahead and explain that before we really do anything significant. So uh, first of all, everything is turn-based. You can see that some things, as I go over them, they're in red here, and some of them, they're in green. If I wanted to talk to Shaman over here, it wouldn't take a turn. But if I wanted to charge a hack boost, it would. So let's go ahead and hack into a camera here, since that doesn't take a turn and we can hack into the corridor. We can see over there that there's guards. Every turn that, they're, that they are there, they will slowly approach us, and we have a couple of options to get them back. Let's see Jack here. We can attack them or we can negotiate. Attacking them shoots them and forces them to go back. Now that has consequences. Number one, these guys get really, really nervous when you do that. Number two, sometimes if you attack them too much, a jack over here starts to question his motives and won't do it anymore. So there's a reason you don't want to get hostages too nervous. If they get too nervous, then they start going crazy and they want to escape. But you also don't want to get them too calm. If they get too calm, then they think, oh, it's no big deal, I can just go escape. So you want to keep them somewhere in a happy medium between calm and nervous. So our main method of progress here is in the corner hacking progress every turn that goes up a little bit but to really speed it up you want to get your hack boost going and we can charge a hack boost so we have a success rate here if we were to use the hack boost now there would only be a 19 percent chance every turn along with these guards slowly approaching our security also goes down so that's something that we have to reinforce once in a while right now see it's at 91%, they have a 9% chance of hacking into us and stopping what we're doing. Not completely, but it drains our hack boost and it really just slows us down and we have to reinforce it. Right now it's not really necessary because there's such a low chance of it happening, but later on we're going to have to reinforce our security. So let's talk to Jack here and get him to negotiate. I'm not sure I actually explained what that was. But I'm pretty sure that that's what makes them stay in their position for a couple turns. I'm not sure how many turns, but basically they just don't approach you. That's kind of the non-violent option to attack. Let's charge a hack boost a little more. A little more. We lost connection. What? What am I even... How did that even happen? Okay, I think I've played this like three or four times and that has never happened. Okay, well it's no big deal since we just started anyway. So uh, that might actually give us a bit more lenience here to start off. I'll probably want to negotiate with them first. And uh, let's go ahead and skip past this cutscene. Yeah, I have no idea what happened there. That has never happened to me ever before. Hack into the corridor so we can see what we're doing. Let's get Jack to negotiate. Make them stay in their place and let's charge a hack boost. What must have happened was maybe there was a very low chance of them getting within our security. And I uh, guess there's also a chance that they uh, can completely shut down what we're doing. Let's negotiate with them and then reinforce their security. And let's charge our hack boost a little more. You can see now this guy over here is getting a little more worried. He's kind of going back and forth, breathing heavily. So we're going to calm him down. 
these guys are getting a little too relaxed, but this guy and this guy are still maybe on the fence. Again, we have to be really careful with the hostages. Those are maybe the main priority of guys we'll be watching. Controlling hostages. Let's go ahead and charge a hack boost a little more. Hey, 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 get back. Let's negotiate with him. Uh, reinforce security. He's distracted. That is not a good idea. Not a good attitude to have, so I'm gonna shout at him. Shouting at him gets him nervous. Of course, that guy's too nervous now. We're gonna calm him down. Um, now, there's a chance there that he could have tried to run, so maybe that wasn't the best idea. What I can do, and I'll show you later, is send him to the break room. That's a room over there to the left, where they. You kind of just send him there to relax and maybe hope that they'll calm down eventually, but sometimes they don't, at least that's what I've found. This game has a lot of variables that I'm unsure of, either that or some parts of it are completely random. Let's charge your hack boost a little more. He's distracted. Okay, not a good idea. Shout at him. I need to run. Alright buddy, let's go ahead and send you to the break room. Okay, so we have a couple problems here. Number one, our security is at 51%. Number two, they are getting quite close. So these guys are all pretty relaxed across the board. The only one that I really have to worry about if we were to attack him is this guy, because he's pretty neutral. So let's go ahead and attack him and then reinforce our security. And uh, maybe calm down that guy. Oh jeez, we don't even need to calm him down. Uh, let's kick him. There you go, buddy. They're still way too relaxed. But this guy, this guy's getting kind of nervous. Next time he says something that indicates to me that he's nervous, I will, uh, I will do a thing. Let's actually go check on our guy in the break room here. We can hack into that camera too. So he, he looks pretty relaxed. Let's go look at him and see what we can do. You move around like a point and click game. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, he looks alright. Let's tell him to get back. Now I'm kind of wondering what kind of future universe this is that still listens to... What's that called? A gramophone? I think that's what it is. Like the vinyl record player with the built-in speaker kind of thing. I don't want to call it a speaker, but... Let's calm him down and then shout at this guy because he's getting way too relaxed. Perfect. And... Ah, uh, we're good. Let's... Hold up. Let's actually go back to this camera first. Because I'm not sure how close these guys are getting. Yeah, way too close. Let's go ahead and shoot him. And then we're definitely going to have to calm that guy down. Oh, come on. There's such a low chance of that happening. Maybe not such a low chance, but... A reasonably low chance. He's distracted. Okay, shout at you. See, that's the problem. Some of these people are getting way too relaxed, and some of these people are getting way too nervous. We're gonna calm him down, but we also can't. Uh, we also can't risk these guys getting too um, relaxed over here. That's an issue. And also, we have to keep these guys in their place. They're getting way too close right now, but I don't want to risk shooting. Let's reinforce our security. Okay, yeah, let's just shoot him. Three out of four of these people are pretty relaxed. Uh, yeah, let's just free him. You just need to... You just need to do what, you stupid hostage? I'm gonna shout at you. And then let's go ahead and get our hack boost going. Not charge. I should have said execute there. But you see we're going to get a big chunk here if it succeeds. There's 79% chance of it succeeding. And it did. Now, uh, we're going to kick this person. They're obviously way too relaxed. And, uh, actually, let's go ahead and attack them. Yeah, that's the kind of attitude that I want to see there. I want to see them that scared. Let's reinforce our security so they can't hack into us. And charge our hack boost once again. I guess it's a risky maneuver, I know. Let's negotiate. This guy is really being a problem for us. And I don't know why, because I keep constantly doing these things, which should make him pretty nervous, but 
That guy. He is a very chill person. Let's reinforce our security a little more. Okay, you. You need to calm down. Yeah, that's right, buddy. Alright, and negotiate, because I'm afraid that these guys are getting too close. Charger hack boost. Okay, no, 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 no need. No need to run. Calm down. What? Okay, what I found is that that is quite possibly completely random, because people, even in the most neutral position, will do things like that. Let's reinforce your security. Oh boy. Alright, we gotta attack them, because they're getting too close. And, oh, come on. Of course we're already getting more people who are escaping. This is actually really, really bad. So, uh, now that we only have one hostage left, these guys are going to advance a lot quicker towards us. With every hostage that we have alive, they're slowed down a lot. So, we, uh, if we only have one, they'll move towards us pretty fast. So now that we have to play a lot more carefully, I'm basically going to be negotiating with them every other turn. Uh, let's charge a hack boost. Uh, let's charge a hack boost. God dang it. Okay, I got a couple things that I need to do here. Number one, shout at this person. I haven't shown you shooting yet, but I don't think that's necessary. Number two, reinforce security, and then I need to... N Actually, I think we can shoot, unless Jack doesn't want to do it. Yeah, we can shoot him, and she didn't get too nervous, so that's fine. Uh, charge our hack boost a little more. And, uh, it's a little too risky to try. I was considering it, but... Hey! You stay. You stay there. Alright. Let's reinforce our security. Shout at you. Actually, kick you. Stay right there. Alright. Uh, execute hack boost. We're making significant progress here. 3, 2, 1, execute. Damn it! Okay, there was a very low chance of that happening. Okay, well, at least it didn't hurt us that much. Alright, Jack, come on, shoot him back a little. And negotiate with him. Keep him in place. Uh, let's execute our hack boost now, just because, you know, two times a charm, if that's what the phrase is. That was awesome. All right, we're making progress. Slow progress, yes, but progress. And we can get these guys back more. Just because I am worried about her being too, uh, too relaxed anyway. It's usually not a big deal with her what I do to those guards over there. Let's charge our hack boost, and then we're gonna negotiate with them. Actually, no, it's a really good idea to reinforce security first. And then negotiate with them, because now they're getting too close. Now, uh, Jack here does sometimes decide to just not attack them. I think that's that either happens when you kill too many hostages, or when you just attack them too much. So, uh, I know I said I was going to negotiate, but I I need to attack them just because they're getting too close. Now we can negotiate. Get our hack boost going. And now I think next hack boost that we have, we should finish this level. Now there's a lot of different levels. They're not all like this. But uh, they're kind of similar in the gameplay in that you have to manage a lot of different things. Very uh, stressful situation. I didn't mean to talk to Jack. I meant to reinforce security. Oh, okay. Now I need to shout at you. Actually, no, kick you. Oof. That really looks like it hurts. Get back. Again, there's basically no consequences to attacking here. Oh, finally, she's getting just a little bit nervous. I probably shouldn't be saying finally to that, but... Uh, let's negotiate with them, make sure they don't move too fast. And then... I didn't mean to click that, but it works. It never hurts to be too cautious. Let's charge our hack boost. Uh, once again, then we're going to negotiate with them, unless this hostage has something to say here. 
Uh, yep, make sure you, they don't get too close. Reinforce our security. Charge hack boost once more. Hey, calm down a little man, calm down, you're getting too restless. Alright, let's charge it again. Hey, stop moving. Alright, hold on. Reinforce security. Alright, no, we have a pretty good chance of getting this hack boost here, and I think we're gonna win, so let's go ahead and try it. 25% chance we'll fail, but if the odds are with us, we should win. So let's go. 3, 2, 1. Execute. Yes! Alright, we got all of it. So, of course, the guards still throw a grenade at us. I know, right? Well, then what was all that work for if we're gonna die anyway? Now, it's not all of us who are dying, it's just our, our main guys here who uh, kind of did most of the grunt work for us. Jack and... I think his name is Abraham? But Liam and Shaman here are gonna get away. They're saying, I won't let you die. So, at the end of every stage, there is a, a little thing here, kind of like The Walking Dead, if you've ever played The Walking Dead, where uh, it shows the decisions that you've made compared to other people. So now, if I was soft here, I'm not really sure what aggressive and, and balanced are, because I was pretty aggressive at times. So, uh, you can see the stats here, I mostly went with other people online. So, uh, yeah, uh, guys, thank you for watching. In the next episode of Gods We'll Be Watching, we will do the next stage, and I will see you next time.